Hey everyone, welcome back to Aries EDC. I, um, if it's your first time checking out the channel, please subscribe and please check out the Patreon. All, all of that is in the description. Blah, 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 whatever. So, working on these guys, I just heat treated and quenched all three of these and now they need to go into the temper. So, so far, um, all of them came well, I mean, they heat treated very well. Everything went as planned. So now I'm gonna put it in my little makeshift little tray. I know it's not very professional, but you know what? It's been working for me. And I'm gonna go put these in uh, temper. Um, I, I've i decided to just do these three. I might do the two still, but I'm afraid the oil is gonna get too hot. So I'm letting the oil cool down a little bit before I do the other two. I've done four before, but I've never done five. And I feel like the oil quenching oil is just too hot. Um, so I'm gonna let that cool down for like just a little bit. And then maybe I'll quench the other two as well. Uh, I do need to clean up the shop a little bit, but uh, let me go throw these in the temper and I'll let you know what's going on with the other two. All right guys. so. So I was just a little concerned about the oil getting too hot, but based on this, it's only 182 degrees. It feels a lot hotter, but that's not too bad actually. So I think I'm gonna fire this up and then heat treat the other two. So let me go do that. All right guys, that was awesome. Uh, so. All five of those are now been quenched and now they're off to temper. So two cycles, two 350 degrees for two hours for two cycles. So I'm gonna do the first cycle tonight and then let those completely cool down. And then first thing in the morning, I'll put them in for another two hours and then it'll be time to get them all cleaned up again and then start looking at all this fun handle material that I have that I'm gonna be working with. So it's gonna be interesting. I have a lot to do. So, but right now I need to clean up this shop. Uh, it is bad. <laughs> it is bad, bad, bad. Look at this place. Again, look at by the grinder. Look at all that mess. Look at this. <laughs> Gotta pick that up. And over here, and all this mess. You clean it up, you make a mess, and you clean it up again, and you make a mess, so. It's the revolving cycle. Well, all right, guys, so first round of temper is done. And so this is the first time you guys have gotten a look at it. I clean them up every time I quench, and then I temper. You get all of the forge scale and everything else that's on these. Uh, I was able to get the crow done. The oil came up to like here. Uh, so you can see <laughs> like the, the handle didn't really get, but that's fine. I just, as long as this area gets nice and heat treated, then we're good. So these guys have been quenched and then you can see we're starting to get that nice brown color in there. That's the temper making that color. So I need one more round of tempering. And then, so tomorrow I'm gonna be tempering these guys. And then I have the live stream and I'm gonna be cleaning these guys up basically probably during that live stream all day tomorrow. We'll be cleaning these guys up and getting them prepped for handles. So we can start getting the handles done and then start doing the final 
um, the final look. So the Flamingo is gonna get the belt satin with the satin flats. And the Bloom is gonna get the hand satin. The Pistol is getting hand satin. The Crow is getting tumbled. So I'm gonna clean it up and then tumble it. And then this Bloom XL is gonna get the, uh, what are we doing with this one? We are gonna be doing acid etching and tumbling this one. So I'm gonna clean it up and then it's gonna get acid etched and tumbled uh, before we do the final glue up for the handles. But I have a lot of work here on the table. I have these five knives. The two March builds that I'm still waiting for it to come back from Peter's, they're coming back as I'm filming this Saturday, I think, what's the date? Today is the, uh, the 6th. So Saturday the 6th, they're gonna be coming back. So I'm gonna try to get as much done on these tomorrow as possible. Uh, if I can get all of these completely cleaned up and prepped and ready for handles, I'll be in really good shape. Um, we'll see if that happens or not. It's a lot of work, but we'll see. And I'll update you guys along the way. All right. Second temper is done. Uh, they're still hot, so they got to cool off. But tempering is done. And now... Time to clean them all up again. Uh, but I, just so you guys know, I clean them all up the way that I do before heat treat because after I find it easier to clean them up. Um, when you have the grind lines deep in the blade and everything, and then you're hand sanding it, it makes it a little bit more harder to do when they're tempered and heat treated. So um, hold on, let me get a file. We can file test these real quick. I'll just use this one. Uh, let's see. Let's see how we did. Get some of that forge scale off. That's good. good that's hot <laughs> i should be doing the glow tan with the hot blade scott <laughs> uh, i'm not good with my left hand guys I'm not, <laughs> i should be wearing the left though but you get the point they're all nice and hard heat treated uh so <laughs> Wow, I'm I'm kind of delirious this morning, so today's going to be an interesting day. But I got to get all these started to get cleaned up, but I got to let them cool off a little bit more uh, because they are still hot. But I'm going to let them cool off, and then I'm going to start cleaning them all up. Plus, I have the live stream, so I'll check back in with you guys after that live stream. And hopefully, after the live stream, I've gotten all five of these cleaned up back to where they were ready for these beautiful handle materials that we have over here staring at you so all right let me uh let these cool off well all right guys there they are um <laughs> live stream went really well this morning was very productive uh well this morning is almost over or uh, is over so the belt satin flamingo don't mind my fingerprints looking really good so we'll get those handles on there and that came out really 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 nice so hopefully they'll be happy with that got the belt satin finish we have the bloom with the hand satin finish Gave them a little bit of polish just to polish them up. But these guys are ready for 
hands or the uh, maker's mark. So I'm going to clean them up, get them going on that. The pistol. Uh, let you guys decide, but turning out really good. Crow. Even though this is kind of like a side project, I've just been doing it. Um, why not? Why not just keep going with what I'm doing? So, got that really good. Crow. Looking really, really nice. And then finally, the Bloom XL. Looking pretty good. Um, got to do the maker's mark on it. And then these guys will be ready for handles. So what I have to do, go do the maker's mark. And then once the maker's mark, I'm cleaned up from the maker's mark. Then these handles, these blades are going to go away. Because then the focus is getting handles started. Now this one is going to be acid etched and tumbled, which normally I do before I do handles. Um, and I don't know how the Kiranite reacts to the acid etching. So I'm going to have to play with that. Um, but we'll figure it out. Um, so anyway... This has to get Maker's Mark first, and then we can discuss what else we're gonna do. But these guys are looking good. Look at that, nice and thin so far behind the edge. So that's gonna be a little slicer. So what do you think? They're looking pretty good. So I'm gonna turn over to the Maker's Mark and start doing that. Ugh. I don't know, guys. I, I guess it's just not going to happen today. <laughs> so, I got this one done. Looks really good. And now, my printer ran out of stencil tape. So, I just had to order it. It'll be here tomorrow. So, I guess I'm not going to be doing maker's marks on the rest of those blades. At least I got this one done. So it didn't even tell me it was running low. You know, normally a printer will give you like the little black lines or something letting you know, hey, I'm running low. You need to order more. Nope, I didn't get any of that. It just kind of like went, stop. Ugh, frustrating. All right, well, guess what? I'm taking the rest of the day off. Oh, yeah. So I was putting... uh trying to place this video together and I noticed I'm about 15 minutes in. So, you know what? I'm gonna call it a day. Uh, I did a lot on this video. We got them heat treated, we got them tempered, we got them completely cleaned up and I got one of the maker's marks on there. So that was pretty impressive. And so I can't really do anything today. Like I said, I'm gonna take the rest of the day off. I'm gonna go get cleaned up and maybe take a walk to the mailbox and see if anything special arrived because I do have something coming in today. Um, but that's this is what I got for you guys. Um, I got a lot done. Uh, this weekend, mm, I'm going to try to film some more. I think Sunday, I'm going to be able to jump back on these. Um, but I also have the other two that are coming back from Heat Treat as I'm filming this tomorrow. So I'm going to get those back and I'll probably start that video with the unboxing of those two and then getting those cleaned up to this point because they're going to come in and they're going to be kind of strawish looking. So I'm going to have to clean them up and those two are going to have to get their maker's mark. So maybe, oh, I don't know when that tape, maybe that tape will come in early. God, fingers crossed they do. Oh, come on, Amazon, you could do it. <laughs> but I can get those in, and then I could do the rest of these. I can do with the Maker's Marks all at one time, and then I can get those two handles done while these guys just kind of sit over here and look pretty and wait their turn to get their handles put on, um, and then they can get out the door as well. But they're looking good. I'm really happy with the way that they're coming out right now. And I'm excited about finishing up. And just an update, 
this was supposed to be tumbled, but the customer liked this satin finish so much, he decided he's going to stick with just this satin finish. So that is his decision. So I'm going to keep the satin finish on the crow. It's going to stay looking exactly like this. So no problem with me. And then everything else is looking pretty good. This one's still going to get acid etched and stone washed, but I got to get the maker's mark on there. Once I get the maker's mark on there, then I can do that. Uh, clean it up a little bit. Then we can do the maker's mark, get the jimping looking good. So there it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you for enjoying the journey and following along with the journey. Hopefully you're enjoying the process and looking forward to what these guys are going to turn into because the next one definitely going to be doing handles. Well, maybe not on these, but at least on the other two. So we can finish them up. But uh, you'll at least probably see the maker's marks getting put on these because that if I'm going to pull that out, I might as well just do that for these four as well uh, just to get them out of the way. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thank you, thank you so much. I hope you're enjoying it. Please, please subscribe, like, leave a comment or not. That choice is yours.